about a month or so ago, Nissan quietly announced that they were raising the price of their battery pack for their Nissan Leaf from $5,500 to $8,500. And I believe, but I'm not certain, that includes installation. Plus, you have to have a battery exchange. You know, just like if you take your lawnmower battery up there, they charge you, you know, to Lowe's or whatever to get a new one. They charge you a core charge or an extra fee if you don't have the old battery. Now, I'm not sure what Nissan does with these batteries. <clears throat> it could be they just don't want people who are building their own electric car to go buy one. I don't, I don't know. And uh, it could be they rebuild them. But anyway, that's quite an increase. And before they did this, you could get quite a good deal if you found a Nissan Leaf out there, an older generation one Nissan Leaf, and these are generation one batteries. But if you found one out there where the battery was in pretty bad shape, you could pick the car up pretty cheap. Uh, you know, maybe $2,000, $2,500. Spend $5,500. Let's say you found one even for $3,000. You spend $5,500 for a new battery, and you've got an almost new car for $8,500, which is a really good deal. Because with electric cars, the battery, the electric motor, and the uh, uh, char the charging station, you know, the charger is actually in the car. The cord you put in the car is just a way to deliver the electricity. The, electri the uh, charger is actually in the car. But an inverter, a charger, a uh, motor, and a battery is pretty much it. So if you replace uh, the battery, that's a big part of the car, and you've got a brand new battery in an $8,000, $9,000 Nissan Leaf. Of course, Nissan, I believe, has had the biggest problems with replacing batteries because they don't temperature control their battery like you know this car, the 2015 Chevy Spark does, or even the um, Fiat 500e, or the Kia Soul. The only two I know of that doesn't control the temperature of their battery, and there may be others, these are the two I know of for sure, are the Nissan Leaf and the Volkswagen e-Golf. Now, Volkswagen released a statement explaining why they didn't need the temperature-controlled battery. I don't remember what their explanation was, but, you know, I, that's why I would not buy a Nissan Leaf. You know, because there have been a few instances where people have had to have their battery replaced, most times under warranty. Because they don't control the temperature of their battery. If you live in Arizona, for instance, and it's 110, 120 degrees, that's really going to harm the battery long term. Batteries don't like heat and cold. This car and ones that control the temperature in that situation, uh, it'll direct cool air to a gel pack that's around the battery and cool that battery off, which takes energy. You know, so if you're sitting in a parking lot at Walmart, uh, you may burn a little bit of energy while you're inside shopping, but your battery's been cooled off. And if you supercharge, well, supercharge is more of a Tesla term. If you level three charge, batteries don't like that either because it charges so fast, the battery heats up. And heat or cold is not good for batteries. Well, the Nissan Leaf can't do anything about that. Uh, but most electric cars, again, they send cool air to the battery while it's charging to keep it at an optimal, at a good temperature. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out. That gone are the days Terry when, ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> Gone are the days when you can get a really cheap Nissan Leaf with a bad battery, replace the battery, and have a really nice car for a um, you know good price. And it's a shame that Nissan doesn't do this. That's why I would not buy a Nissan Leaf, I don't think. Um, if it had very low miles, maybe. You know, if I lived in the right environment, I wasn't going to, you know, level three charge very often. But N Nissan Leaf is really short-sighted in this, I think. Because they have a really nice car, especially the second generation Nissan Leaf. It's just a really nice looking car. You know, I even like the first one, even though most people think it's ugly, ugly as crap. I don't think it's that ugly. I kind of like the headlights, actually. They look like a frog, and I kind of like that. You know, but, and I like the room you get in a Nissan Leaf. On North Thornton Avenue. I should have disconnected my GPS. But anyway, were it, not, if, were it not for that one thing, if they had just controlled the temperature of their battery, I would almost certainly be driving a Nissan Leaf today rather than the Chevy Spark EV. One reason it has more room. You know, it doesn't have the pickup, doesn't have the pep, but all in all, I think I would like it a little bit better, you know, if it wasn't for that one thing. But anyway, all right, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching and appreciate it. GoPro, stop recording.